The death of Brian Malinowski raises many questions, including what are your rights if you wish to sell a firearm that you own? Channel 7's Kayla Christian went in search of the answer to that question, and she joins us now here in our studio with more. Kayla. Yes, that's right, and I spoke with Nathan House with the Arkansas Armory today, who says though private gun sales without a license are legal, that without a, without a license is legal, and there are other laws that you should be aware of. It's perfectly legal to be able to sell guns that you own uh, out of your personal collection. That's, uh, that's something that's always been legal and continues to be legal. But Arkansans do need a license to sell for profit. The, the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act has said that if you are engaged in the business of doing firearms with a purpose to uh, make a profit at it, then you need a license. Uh, and if you're, if you're routinely buying guns and selling guns for a purpose of making a profit and you don't have a license, then that's a crime. Also illegal is making sales to prohibited citizens. So the main thing is, is that you're not knowingly selling it to someone that's a prohibited person. And there's a lot of different categories of prohibited people. So people that are uh, drug users or people that are uh, felons or those that have been convicted of domestic violence, even a misdemeanor conviction of domestic violence. Those are just some of a list of, of things that might make a person prohibited. And it's certainly against the law, both federal law and Arkansas law, to, to furnish a firearm to a prohibited person. And though firearms in the state aren't registered to a specific person, they can be traced back to private sellers for legal reasons. It is important to know that if that firearm were to ever end up at a crime scene or something like that, well, they're going to start a trace process where they go to the manufacturer and say, well, who did you sell the gun to? And then from there to a distributor and ask, and then from there to a dealer. And then that dealer is, may have to produce that 4473 and say, you know, here's the person that purchased the firearm from us. Now, a straw purchase is also a federal crime. According to the U.S. Concealed Carry Association, that's buying a gun with the intent to give it to someone who isn't legally allowed to have one or purposefully doesn't want to have their name associated with the transaction. On your side. I'm Kayla Christian. Okay, Kayla, thank you. Tonight at 6 o'clock, we are on your side digging deeper into the allegations against Malinowski and how Canadian officials became involved in that case.